So it's getting fuel. Um, let me check my time and marks and then we'll go from there. Alright, I got Dominic with me. I'm going to have him crank it now so that way if I have fooled anything out here. I advance the time a little bit and uh, keep in mind the valves ain't adjusted. I still have to adjust the valves. We still got the plugs that were in it before the head gasket blew so we'll see what we got anyway. It's, I'm going to make sure the motor's good. All right, fire it up, John. Is it dead? Of course it is. Go ahead and charge this battery. Turn the switch off, because it'll. That's when it starts beeping, it's because the switch is on. All right, put that in there. Here we go. To it, that's probably where the valve needs adjusted because he completely loosened the valve to um, do the head work and stuff, pressure testing and all that. And I still got to seal the valve cover around the, around, uh, I do around the distributor and around the cam gear. I always seal them with our TV.
I got my window fixed on that thing today. I tried to work on the driver's window. It's like it don't want to roll all the way down. Z was like it when I changed to that kit. It's a lot rougher to. I like the seat a lot better. I told you. That's the reason I went ahead and changed it. I put the 350Z seat in it and it didn't plug up, so I had to run a 12 volt wire and a ground to adjust it all the way to where I wanted it. But I got it. I think I'm happy with it. I think it'll feel better. I think it'll be a little better with the car. This guy. Hey, watch out, guy. Ow. So. The seat's a lot rougher than what I had in it, but I like the way it wraps around. If you can see the way the, the Z seat has more of a wrap to it up high, it just holds you a lot better in place to me. I can already tell the difference just sitting in it today after I put it in, so it's definitely going to be better, I think. feel more comfortable, a little more confident in the car. And I like the black wheels on the G35, but we stuck Dominic's wheels on it. I'm not necessarily against that. It needs some I spacers am. and it needs a bigger tire, I think. I am for the bottom. You am? Yeah, for the bottom. I need them. You might. But I don't know. I'm used to having the big wheel in there filling the wheel well up, but that tire's a lot cheaper than what I've been paying. But. All right, we're gonna call it a day. Me and Junior's had enough of this mess. He finally had a day off, so he's hung in here and helped me get wheels and tires situated, and I think we're done for the day. All right, here we go. Hey, guys and girls, welcome to the channel. All right, so we went drifting after we lowered the IS-300, and so the old bash bar got bent up. Let me scoot the camera back a little bit. So the ends, you can see how close they are. The other side is just as bad. The bottom has been scraped all to pieces. So what happened was he drugged the bottom of it. When he drugged the bottom it turned in. Well it bent this when it broke the weld right there. It pulled this weld apart right here so it brought the bottom in I tried to heat it up and bend it but it wouldn't bend so there's soot and black stuff all over it um, so what we decided my son and I what I'm gonna do is because we're close to time to be at the uh, drift track this weekend so we're gonna cut it right here this bar here we're gonna cut it loose so all we're gonna have is like a like when you get the single bar so we're going to cut it off and just have a single bar for this weekend and I'll try to clean it up best I can maybe put a coat of primer or something on it and that way we can run a bumper because he usually drives his to the drift track from here and so that way he's legal driving on the road because there's no bumper on this car so and we'll rework the lower half of it and that way He's not getting pulled over and getting in trouble, and in the meantime, we can fix what's left of this bash bar. So, again, it broke right here. Um, it tweaked the whole bottom, pulled in, bent this one. I think the other one's fairly straight, and that looks bent too. So, but even though it's bent, we can still bolt it on, it'll still bolt up. So, if I cut it loose from here, that gives us a single bar to go on there, just like a regular bumper would be. Um, and that'll temporary it until we can rework everything and get it all repainted, put back together. Think about shortening these, maybe take a couple inches off of the actual, these, these pieces, take maybe two inches, three inches off of these, and bring that bar up. So that way it doesn't hang down any further than what the bottom of the car will. So 
That way we don't run into this issue. And I think we're going to raise the car up some too. I think it's a little bouncing in the front still. So we're going to try to cut that top piece off. And that way we'll be able to, you know, have a bumper for this weekend. So that's the project at hand. Here we go. I'm fading high.